Life has kept us busy, but we are back in the air. Today, we are headed to Washington, D.C., but since we are unable to land directly in Washington, we are landing in Maryland, which happens to be our 26th state. We plan to visit Annapolis, which is Maryland's capital city, before we explore Washington, D.C. Stir traffic, Aztec 2441 Mike at Atlantic. We're going to be taxiing to runway 07 via Alpha, Stuart. Stewart traffic, Aztec 2441 Mike is departing runway 7 and we'll be leaving the area to the north. Stewart. Love you. Love you. Love you, Love you guys. Alright, airspeed's live times 3. Gages are green. There's 65. Tap the brakes. Gear coming up. Palm Beach Approach, Aztec 2441 Mike with request. Aztec 2441 Mike, Palm Beach, good morning, say request. Aztec 2441 Mike is a PA 27 Aztec, currently seven miles north of Stewart. We're heading to uh, Bravo Hotel Charlie this morning, currently 3,700 and climbing for 7,500, uh, looking for VFR flight following. Roger, let me see two codes, stand by. Number 41 Mike, squawk 1342. One three four two four one Mike. And number four one Mike, your radar contact about eight north of Stewart. The Bear Beach Altimeter three zero zero six. Three zero zero six four one Mike. In today's flight, we're heading to Maryland to add another state to the list. Our plan is to uh, see Annapolis and Washington D.C. today and tomorrow. Flight's about five and a half hours, and uh, that's effectively the fuel range of the airplane. And so uh, just to pick up some extra fuel inexpensively, we're going to stop in South Georgia Airport called Baxley. Uh, Baxley's a nice little airport if you're looking for cheap fuel in South Georgia. Fuel there is about $3 less than fuel at our home airport. In an airplane, you know, these planes suck down a lot of gas, especially if you're flying a twin. And uh, every time we fill up, you can save a few hundred dollars if you go to a uh, to a fuel stop that's more advantageous on price. So, Baxley's got my business today. Uh, after that, going into Washington, uh, there's special flight rules. So, you can either do a whole bunch of paperwork or you can pick up an IFR. And I'm IFR certified and current. So, uh, so we're going to pick up an IFR out of Baxley from the air. We've already got the flight plan filed, and then we'll be on our way to Washington before you fly into that airspace around Washington, D.C., and make sure you understand it. So if you've not taken the class and are going to Washington, make sure you do it. It's uh, free. It's a, yeah, it's a free course. It's online through the FAA. And just save your certificate in case they ask for it. But uh, this is a trip we've been looking forward to for a long time, and uh, we're finally making it. So uh, one hour in to a five-hour flight, and that's the plan for today. A lot of clouds were already early in the morning. Yep. We left pretty early this morning. We were at the airport around 6. It is pretty. Yep. There's a little rainbow. Oh, yeah. That's nice. So, 41 Mike, contact uh, Jacksonville Approach, 124.9er, and have a nice day. 124.9er, 41 Mike, thank you. Jack's Approach, Aztec 2441 Mike, 7500. Aztec 2441 Mike, Jack Approach, Jack's Altimeter, 3017. 3017, forward Mike. Jacksonville Center, Aztec 2441 Mike. We'd like to cancel flight following with Baxley in sight. Baxley traffic, Aztec 2441 Mike at 2,000 feet, one zero miles to the south, inbound for full stop. We're going to cross midfield and enter a left downwind for runway 8, Baxley. Baxley traffic, Aztec 2441 Mike, left downwind, runway 8, Baxley. Baxley traffic, Aztec 2441 Mike. Left base, runway 8, Baxley. Baxley traffic, Aztec 2441 Mike, turning final, runway 8, Baxley. Good job, AJ. Baxley traffic, Aztec 2441 Mike, cleared, runway 8, Baxley. Baxley Unicom, Aztec 2441 Mike is taxiing from the fuel pumps to departure in runway 8, Baxley. 
Taxi traffic, Aztec 2441 Mike, taking active runway 8 for departure to the north, Paxley. Love you guys. Bye. Love Bye. you very much. Georgia to South Carolina, just hopped into a new state on our way up to Washington, D.C. We uh, stopped in South Georgia, Baxley, for fuel, and uh, after picking up fuel, we got right back in the plane and took off again. Now we're heading north. Uh, picking up the IFR clearance was surprisingly easy. We called up Jacksonville Center, said I have a request, and they just took the ball and ran with it. They just immediately cleared me without me having to say anything further, so that was cool. Yeah, usually it takes a minute um, or two for them to find you, yeah. get you going. Yeah, exactly. yeah. No, they just, they gave me my transponder code, gave me my clearance, and we're on our way. Yep. So that brings up a point about flying into the Washington, D.C. area. Uh, I'll show you here on the map. So in the Washington airspace, uh, this has a flight restricted zone on the inside and a special flight rules area on the outside. The inner ring extends about 15 miles in each direction from the center of Washington, D.C., and the outer ring is approximately uh, 30 miles on its radius. We chose to go into Montgomery County Air Park for our flight. You can see our track on the course, which is, it's in Maryland. Uh, it's outside of the flight restricted zone in the center, but it is within the CIFRA. There's, you know, several options for airports available in there, but that's an uncontrolled field, uh, about a 4,000 foot runway uh, give or take, and uh, and it's uh, we need to get a new state. That's uh, basically how we chose this. So we we flew past the uh, Virginia airports because we've already been to Virginia, and we need to land in Maryland. And today we're picking up a new state if we're flying all this way. So Maryland it is. Montgomery County is the airport, and uh, we'll pick up a rental car when we're there. It says we have to make every state count by either going to somewhere to eat or doing activity. We are going to head to Annapolis, which is the capital of Maryland. We got a couple of restaurants that are on City Dock area. That is not too far from the Naval Academy. So we're going to go eat a lunch and then walk over and maybe do a guided tour of the Naval Academy. After that, we will head to Washington, D.C. But I'm just happy to be flying again. We haven't flown in a while. The kids and I haven't flown in probably 10 Almost months a year. or so, yeah. But AJ's kept it up. He's flown with his flight instructor, Kevin, just to keep up hours and training and whatnot. But we've planned trips, but either weather or sickness or cows have prevented us from flying around recently. So happy to be in the air. Had a good about what, two, three month window where we were delivering cows? Yeah, three months. Yeah. 21 calves to deliver. We got babies on the farm, baby cows. We got baby chickens too, and, and baby ducks. Baby chick. well, the ducks aren't quite baby anymore. They were babies. They're a couple months old now, but yeah, we've added a few living creatures to the farm. Got cows, chickens, ducks, and a barn cat since the last time we've flown. Cows are great. I like the cows. I like, I like all of them. Ma'am. Ma'am. What are you doing? You guys. You're ridiculous. You're ridiculous. Hello. How are you? How are you? How are you? The cattle mainly kept us pretty busy for three months there that really hurt our flying window. And then uh, and then the last time we planned our trip to Washington DC, COVID tried to kill me and I was I was out of work, I was out of functioning for about two weeks. So it ruined the trip and it ruined another week of work and that was a fairly unpleasant time. I was as sick as I've ever been. But uh, hey, I lived through it. So um, back to flying. Back to flying. Good to get in the plane, good to take another trip. We're doing what we do. Oh, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, Four one Mike. Instead of four thousand one two five point eight. Instead of maintain four thousand one two five point eight. Four one Mike. Approach two four four one Mike at five thousand five hundred. Descending four thousand. Uh, two four four one Mike. Coming Delta. Coming three zero three four. Three zero three four. Four one Mike. 
So we're 4 one Mike, descend and maintain 3,000. Descend and maintain 3,000, 4 one Mike. So 4 one Mike, descend to 2,000, and 4 gauges, we're in sight, 12 o'clock, 12 miles. Descend 2,000 and airport environment in sight, 4 one Mike. Or 401 Mike, you are clear as approach to Gaithersburg. Report to cancellation here on this frequency on the ground via clearance delivery. Change advisory is approved. We'll go ahead and cancel in the air uh, for IFR clearance. 401 Mike. 401 Mike, cancellation is received. Maintain your transponder call at code at all times so after you land. Change advisory is approved. We'll maintain uh, our transponder code. 401 Mike, thank you. Gaithersburg, Aztec 2441 Mike is uh, three miles to the west. Uh, we're going to cross the field at midfield and enter left downwind for runway 14 Gaithersburg. Montgomery County, Gaithersburg, Aztec 2441 Mike is crossing midfield from the south and will be entering left downwind for runway 14 Montgomery County. Montgomery County, Aztec 2441 Mike, left base, runway 14. Montgomery County, Aztec 2441 Mike, turning final runway 14 Montgomery County. Montgomery County, Aztec 2441 Mike, clear runway 14 and taxiing to the ramp. Woohoo, stay 26. 26, yay. Nice work. Annapolis is a beautiful city on the Chesapeake Bay and Maryland's capital. Did you know that Annapolis was the temporary U.S. capital from November 1783 to June 1784? We explored the U.S. Naval Academy, which is right on the waterfront. If you get a chance to visit Annapolis, it's definitely worth it. It would take more than one weekend to explore Washington, D.C. We squeezed in as many museums and monuments as we could. We managed to visit the National Mall, Arlington National Cemetery, the White House, the Archives, and a few museums. Washington, D.C. is a very walkable city with history on every corner. We were so glad we were able to take this flight up and visit our nation's capital. <laughs>